I want to talk to you today about an interesting material that I've had the pleasure of working with over the years. Now, it's a material that you're probably familiar with. You've probably seen products such as these rubber shoes or products like these yoga balls. But what I want to tell you is that this material is a lot more versatile than just some of the products that you've seen. Now, what is this material? Well, it's called pop foam. And pop foam is an EVA, which stands for ethylene vinyl acetate. Or in other words, it's a closed cell foam which means it has an exterior skin, and then inside it's a foam material. Now, more specifically, I wanna to talk to you today about injection molded pop foam. Now, my name's Victor, and I've been an industrial designer and product developer for 30 years, and I've had the pleasure of working on a lot of products in a lot of different areas. But one of the things that's so interesting about pop foam, and as being a designer, is that I, got, I get to think about product solutions in a much different way. And that's one of the joys of learning about new materials as a designer. I think learning about new materials for a designer is one of the most important things that you can do to advance your career. Because really, if you think about it, materials are like the, the magic wand of designers. If we use the same materials over and over and over again, our design solutions get stale and they get boring and we wind up rehashing the same solutions over and over. So what I'd like to do, my goal today, is to tell you a little bit about pop foam and what you might actually be able to do with this material. One of the most interesting things about injection molded pop foam is that it literally pops out of the mold, hence the name pop foam. And what that means is when the mold opens, the material actually expands and becomes larger than its finished size, and then as it cools, it shrinks back down to the final dimensions. Now, look at what can happen with when you have something like a material that pops out of the mold like that. These, these types of undercuts are incredible. And for me as a designer, this is absolutely fascinating. This is an example of a cell phone case, and you can see again how the undercuts are totally doable in this process, where in another material, it just would not be Another thing that's really interesting about pop foam is that it comes in different durometers. So this is an example of one of the softer durometers and you can see how pliable the foam actually is. And here's an example of one of the harder durometers and you can see how stiff that is. So this gives you a lot of design versatility to design in exactly the right kind of touch and feel that you want for your particular product design. Because pop foam is an injection molded EVA foam, all the rules of molding and textures apply. So you can have, in, in a sense, limitless different textures molded in to the product, to basically to your heart's content. Also, the material is fantastic when it comes to 3D applications of graphics. So you can do either dipped or printed applications of graphics. Another great feature about pop foam is the fact that it shrinks when it comes out of the mold. So that means you could put it around a substrate like this ABS backing board right here and the part will shrink down to its final fit. It also bonds extremely well. So in this example, you can see that the pop foam is bonded to the ABS creating a very, very, very secure and strong bond. So I've only touched on a few of the characteristics of this really incredible material, and hopefully I've piqued your interest to want to learn more. Go to the website at popfoam.com, check it out, request a free sample, and download their paper that tells you all about how to mold and use this material. So until next time, this is Victor, keep creating.